Hello you guys, so this video is going to be a vlog. I haven't vlogged in a long time and I kind of miss it. We are going to go to my parents' place for Thanksgiving, even though today's Friday, so it's the day after Thanksgiving, but we're going to stay there for a couple of days. And this time is always really fun to visit because it is normally when the oranges and stuff, like all the citruses in my dad's garden are fruiting. So I'm super excited for that. And then I try to see my parents like at least once every month or once every two months, I want to go back home, but I haven't been back in a while. So I am excited to see my dogs and see all my dad's plants as well. We are going to head out soon. There's Theo on the bean bag. There's Chris getting all of his stuff ready to pack. And yeah, see you guys at my parents' house. <laughs> hey Theo, we're here. So we've arrived at my parents' place. As you can see, my mom is obsessed with Theo. He loves running around the garden, and this is one of the few outdoor spaces he's been to where he can run off leash. And he also loves chasing around and playing with my childhood dogs. Are the oranges ready, Dad? Huh? Are the oranges ready? You miss him? <laughs> no. Ooh, I miss you. He goes like, whoa, <laughs> I like you too. Look at all the food. <laughs> yeah. Fresh, uh, fresh fresh with turkey. With turkey to <laughs> After hanging out in the garden for a bit, we came inside and are now eating our Thanksgiving meal. My brother Nicholas is really into cooking and he cooked almost all of the food for us. Oh, also I got those shelves on the right for my parents recently before the plants were taking up space on the dining table because my parents didn't have a dedicated spot for them. And then this is Skittles playing with Theo. When they first met, Skittles really didn't like Theo. Like she would run away from him whenever he got near her, but now we're making some progress. My dad is setting up the air mattress where I'm gonna sleep, and then Skittles and Theo both jumped onto the chair where Chris was sitting, and they all look so cute together. This is like the closest they've been before. Um, but yeah, we're ending the night by watching La La Land because I've never seen it. And oh, uh, then Skittles and Theo started doing this weird thing where they lick each other on the mouth. It's kind of weird, but also funny, so I thought I'd include it here. We uh, put the, the, the cup on the top of it and we burn it and we shh, right? Yeah, that was a crime. Blow up and then fall down. That was much fun. My dad is telling us a story of when he was nine that we've never heard before. When he was in Vietnam during the Vietnam War, my dad and his little brother snuck into an army base and played around with things in the armory and were messing around with things like gunpowder, I think. Um, but yeah, I see why he never told us that story before. My dad just cleaned the uh, backyard.
Mine like died. It's hard to grow them. You have to grow them like in, in normal soil. Don't 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 put like composting. Mm. Don't like compost. I kill that big. <laughs> Those are wild crest. Oh. It, it grow it grow and then um, in the summer it seed come. Mm -hmm. And it died too hard. It died too bad. Now this time it go back again. I am back home now from being at my parents' house. Um, it was a really good time. I didn't film that much and like talk that much, but uh, yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed like seeing my parents and stuff and um, seeing my family again. I think it's been a while since they've been in a video. I'm pretty excited to be back home um, just to be like with my plants and everything and oh, one of my girl lights just turned off. So I got this package. It is from Japan, I think. It is a calendar for 2023. I believe it is a platycerium calendar from this Japanese Instagram account and business that I follow called Vandaka Plants. I ordered one from them. Well, I actually ordered two from them. Um, and then I'm gonna give one of them to Jahao, but they DM'd me on Instagram and they actually sent me another one or two additional ones for free because I posted the platycerium print that they have on my Instagram story and I think I also talked about it on YouTube. These scissors are not very good. I think I just bent it on accident uh, by banging it against the table, but that's okay. Ooh, the paper looks really cool. So all of these are like hand drawn and everything. I mean, it's reprinted, but they're hand drawn and then printed onto this paper. Ooh, this is so cool. <laughs> I'm gonna put this on my fridge, I think. Ooh, I love this. Isn't that pretty? It's very simple too. And then you can also tear them off of the page. So you could use them for like prints or something. I just found that they put a letter in the packaging as well. So I'm going to open it. Oh, I don't think this is a letter. <laughs> this is just my invoice. No, they didn't send me a letter, but they sent me some stickers and business cards. Yeah, also I got my haircut. Um, I always get my haircut whenever I go back home or when I see my mom. So that's like every one month or two months. And she's been the only person to cut my hair for like 18 years or something. So haircut by my mom. Let me know if you guys like it. Uh, actually don't say anything if you don't like it. Right here. Hmm. Okay, so it looks like it won't actually work on the fridge because it's a little bit too long. Um, I would use like a magnetic hook right here. Hmm. I put the magnetic hook up here. Now it is working to hang. January is Ridley Eye. Nice. Faith Platy. So it's later in the day and I am going to work on my script for a sponsorship I'm doing. I have a sponsorship with Avatar 2, the movie, which is pretty cool. I have to send a script where I talk about what I am planning to do for the video and then also um, the key points that I'll talk about and then what I'm making for the video, so. Yeah, later today we're gonna have some friends come over to watch the second season of White Lotus. Yeah, that's all we're doing for the rest of the day. I will be back later for the vlog. Hello guys, it's the next day. I am in the middle of watering some plants and this is my avocado plant. Uh, the very pretty one that used, well, it used to be pretty. Um, it was next to my sink and it's been a road to recovery. I am starting to finally see some root growth and there is some new growth coming from the top of the plant. But yeah, check this out. Finally, some roots are forming. Um, so hopefully, Soon it will look how it used to look and I can put it back in that spot. If you watched my like day of plant care video that I did a little bit ago, you would know that I put a Thematophyllum xanadu in the spot 
where the avocado plant used to be and it's not doing that well. And I think it's because I didn't pot it fast enough. So the roots dried up because um, it was bare root for like a week and it didn't receive any water. So here is the thematophyllum xanadu looking pretty sad. And I think the only living root currently is this one. So it's not able to support all of its foliage. It's still alive though, for sure, because I'm seeing some growth on the um, growth points. So if this doesn't perk back up, I will hopefully change it with the avocado plant. I don't know if I shared this that much on my YouTube channel. I think I did. I definitely shared some pictures on Instagram. Um, so I'll include some of those pictures here. But I have my Passiflora growing in my bathroom. And as you guys know, I went to Portland and Oregon for about a week and I didn't water any of my plants. I didn't have anyone water them. And I also didn't have my grow lights on in this room. And now that it's winter, I'm getting a lot less light from this small window. Passiflora's definitely suffered. I have one right there in my shower. And then I have another one right here. Uh, it's kind of messy right here, so ignore that. But yeah, a lot of the leaves fell and died back because it wasn't getting watered. Also, I have them potted in an extremely small pot. I definitely would have potted it in a larger pot if I had known how like establish the root systems again. Same with this Passiflora in my shower. It's just way too small of a pot to support all of those plants. They're pretty like uh, sensitive to drought and drying out. And if they experience drought, then they pretty much just like drop all of their leaves, which isn't great. Um, yeah, I think I'm actually going to take down the Passifloras in my bathroom and maybe pot them again in the summertime or whenever I get more light. Okay, um, it's kind of sad. I really liked how it looked, but this is what happens when you go on vacation. <laughs> Sometimes when I'm showering and they fall down, I get scared that it's like a bug or something and yeah. RIP. Oh yeah, the soil is like super, super dry. And then I think I'm also gonna take this fern out. This also kind of didn't do so well after my vacation, unfortunately. I just cleared the passiflora that was right here. Um, and look at all that stuff on the floor. And then here is the pot that was there in the corner before. And look at those roots. Yeah, I also potted way too many plants in one of these very small pots. So yeah, I learned from my mistake though. Hello you guys, it's the next day now and Chris and I are gonna go to Nature Aquarium, which is like my favorite aquarium shop in LA. And we are gonna pick up some supplies for the Avatar Aquarium sponsorship thing that I'm doing. Um, so yeah, I'm making an aquarium inspired by the Avatar Pandora landscape. So Pandora is like the planet that they're on, I think. This video isn't sponsored by them. I'm just showing you guys my process. So I am going to be using this tank. So I'll empty everything out in order to put the new aquarium together. And yeah, kind of nervous for this project because Avatar is kind of a really big movie and it feels like a lot of pressure to do something good. So we are headed to the aquarium store now. So for this aquarium, I am gonna do like floating rocks inspired by the landscape in Avatar. Um, so I'm gonna need like lava rock. I need a new filter maybe. Um, oh, I need CO2 as well. So I'm gonna inject CO2 in the aquarium and yeah. Uh, well, this aquarium store is like one of my favorite places um, to buy aquarium stuff because the owner's really sweet. His name is Taru. He reminds me a lot of my dad, honestly. Like he's very quiet, but like kind, I suppose. I am working on getting all the stuff out of this aquarium. As you can see, I took a lot of plants out of this aquarium. Um, here are a bunch of them. And then I was also removing a lot of the shrimp that are in here. So now there's like a million shrimp in this tank. Can you see them? Like so, so many. Um, so I am going to take everything out, drain it, clean the tank, and then start working on the new setup.
So I cleaned the aquarium off and now I'm gonna start working on it. Um, we'll see how this goes. <laughs> Hi guys, it's voiceover Benji. So for most of this footage, it's gonna be vertical because I'm using it for the TikTok. So yeah, I apologize for the format. First, I laid down a layer of substrate. I'm using an aquarium substrate by the brand UNS. I wanna make the substrate slope in the back to make a mountain-like landscape. So I'm using these lava rocks to build up the substrate. They won't be visible in the finished build because I'll be covering them up with aqua soil. Now I'm putting in my actual aquascaping rocks. These are called Wabi Sabi rocks. I'm pretty sure they're just a natural tan reddish color lava rock though. I got them from Nature Aquarium. I'm using these because they match the color and the texture of the floating rocks that I'll use later. But yeah, I don't really have a super concrete idea of how I want the hardscape to look. So I'm just playing around with it and seeing what looks good to me. I'm doing my best to create a mountain look though. My plan for the floating rocks is to glue pieces of wood to the wabi-sabi rocks down at the substrate, then drill a hole in the floating rocks and glue the tip of the stick inside the hole to make it look like the rock is floating. So I got this idea from a YouTube channel called Aqua Pros a couple years ago, I think like five years ago or so, he made an avatar inspired aquarium. The stones I'm using for the floating rocks are large pumice stones. So pumice stones are porous and lightweight and they actually float in water for a while until all their air pockets get filled. So because of their low density, they should be able to stay held up by the sticks. I have a large pumice stone that I want to use, but it's too heavy to hold up with a stick. So I drilled a hole at the top and tied clear string on it. I'm going to attach the clear string to the top of the shelf where the aquarium will be, so it will hang into the aquarium. I wrapped all of the pumice stones in plants and moss. I'm primarily using weeping moss because it grows down and it'll create a really cool drooping effect once it's grown in. Now I'm drilling in the holes in the pumice stones and I'm sticking the sticks into the stones and it's actually holding up. I moved the aquarium to the office and now I'm gluing small sticks onto the rocks to create little bridges. Uh, they have these in the movie and it also just adds some nice detail. And this was a tedious task. Honestly, all of this was pretty difficult because I had to wait for the glue to dry and do my best to not knock anything over. I then added in some plants to fill the tank. Um, I did a grass-like plant in the back and then I tied the large pumice stone to the top of the shelf and here's how it looks. Um, and then I added in some Monte Carlo at the front and that'll create a nice like green carpet effect. Now I'm adding in water and it's cloudy but after a few hours it will clear up. And here it is after a few hours, let me know what you guys think. Um, I think it looks pretty good right now, but it will look better in just a few weeks or months. So yeah, um, I didn't film an outro, so I'll leave you guys here. Thank you so much for watching, and I will see you in the next video. Goodbye. Can. Fresh, 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 fresh,